viewers, how are you? Are you okay? Welcome to my channel. And if you have watched my other videos and I've given it thumb up, oh, oh thank you so much. I'm so grateful. You just made me the happiest person in the whole world. And you have made me to move on to do more videos for you. All right, this week we are going to do pattern making for our basic bodies. It doesn't have any design, it's just going to be basic bodies. I hope you can get me clear on that. No design at all, nothing at all, just a basic bodies. Yes, so we shall do our basic bodies on the measurement we have done last week. Do you have your measurement? Yes, I do. So let's just show you what I have on my measurement. Oh, if this is your first time to watch my video, my name is Judith Hart, and thank you so much for watching this uh, video. And thank you so much. I really appreciate for subscribing to my channel. It, it really adds so much to me. It gives me strength to move on. amazing we shall do both uh basic uh bodies pattern making with you <laughs> oh yeah i just love what i am doing and i hope you can get catch up with me and learn something on this so i have my own board measurement please make sure you have your own board measurement you and i have so much different things but measurement is a little bit uh your size is bigger you can still fit in what I'm going to teach you. So I have my body measurement right here. This is what I did last week. Yes. So this is what I did last week. Okay. So how about we go to the work? Yeah. Okay. What do we need? We need the measurement for our our pattern making. This is my drafting paper. You may be having the brown one, but uh, me, I have this one. Maybe whatever paper you want to have. Even me, I used to use newspaper when I was learning. Whatever paper you want to have, it is well and okay. So one thing you need to have is a paper. You can get any paper. As long, even me, I used to plug my counter book. I make sure I uh, glue them to the point that it can give me a bigger space for whatever I am going to draw my tape measure right here. I hope you do have your tape measure. Like I told you, I have my brown paper here, uh, my drafting paper, and I have my roller, a normal roller. It's right here with me. And I have um, a curve roller. It's here with me. What else do we need? Yeah, you need a pencil and a um, eraser. But for me, I am going to use marker pens. That way, you guys, you can be able to really see what I am doing here. That way, it can be much easier. But when I'm doing my personal drafting, pattern making, I usually use a uh, pencil. A very soft pencil. And eraser always be near me. Because right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my own body measurement and I have done this a hundred times. I still count it to one. Me, I don't really buy dresses. I really always make for myself. So I've dropped my bodies and I have dropped it. It is so stuck in me here. And you, before that, I made a thousand mistakes and I learned from it. So me, I don't think I will really make that mistake. I did it before. So I'm going to get my roller and roll this right away this is it so i'm going to make sure i roll this i'm just go i'm just rolling this this paper As well up here, I'm going to roll this. I'm using a, a school roller, a normal school roller. I don't know what ruler you are using. It, it, it's not one inch, it's like I think one and a half inch. It's a bit bigger. Okay. So one thing we are going to start is 
call it as our top line. Okay, what next? Hmm? Now, you need to get your <coughs> measurement and put them right here somewhere aside. Please get your measurement and keep them somewhere aside. So let me just get my measurement, I see. My, uh, I'm going to use solder. I'm going to use S for solder, that is uh, 15 inch. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use first, that is B, that is 34. I am using my own um, measurement. Please make sure when you indicate yours, use yours as well. So I am going to use um, um, next is waist, that is 28 inch, and the next is solder to waist. That is 16. I am I am using standard uh, standard solder is standard uh, measurement from solder to waist is 16 inches. Uh, especially if you are size uh, uh, 8, 10, like me, I do size 10. Uh, if your bust is 34, like me, my bust is 34. And if your bust is 30, I think from range from 30 to 36, uh, 7, yeah, you can use. Uh, and also your height depends. It depends on your height. Your height will really do much. But it's uh, as well okay. Uh, I already saw you how to measure solder to waste. You can find it in your uh, um, umbilical cord. That is where your waist is going to lie. But some people like high waist. Anyway, designs actually varies. But this is basic. We are not doing design on this. This is just a basic dress uh, pattern making for the bodies. So we all know what body is. Body is something uh, uh, from our solder to waste. Uh, so I uh, hope you are with me now. Let us get our measurement from solder to waste, and that is 16. So from solder to waste, I am going to put my tape measure right on this top line and find where my uh, 16 inch is, and I'm, I'm going to mark there right away. see that and I will get my ruler and that is what I did my uh, mistake sometimes but and I do not want you to have the same mistake and uh, I will rule it uh, right away but now my, the problem comes that I needed to make sure that the measurement from here to here is the same now how do I do that I will get a tape measure and as well I make sure I put in the middle here and I mark here I make sure that I mark uh, the, eight, the 16 inch here. And as well at the edge here, I will make sure that I will mark this line here. So when it comes to ruling it, I just follow the dot. It makes my life much easier, so much easier. And I get it so with ease. No difficulties at all. And this line, I'm going to call it waistline. Are we together? OK, now. Um, I didn't give, uh, we need to first get our horizontal uh, horizontal line, so uh, we have already one that is top line, the second one is the waist line. Now we need, uh, mm, we need shoulder to bust, and I didn't measure, because most times uh, people have different body sizes, but uh, what matters is when you get their bust and you'll be able to get which armhole they it determines uh, so i try to work with standards from solder to waste it has given me a big headache people uh, client will come in and fit in and you find you need to adjust the armhole that close the the thing is cutting them maybe the um, armhole you have given them is too tight too high i kept to realize the Bust, everyone's bust determines their size of armhole. So uh, my bust is 34. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bust to get my um, uh, solder to bust. Okay? I decide not to really measure that, especially when I'm doing uh, um, 
uh, these basic bodies uh, because I've made the mistakes and I've made it and I got tired of it so much like it makes my life much much easy so we shall call this point one okay point one so that means uh, I'll, I'll indicate it right away from this point to this point uh, let me give it this arrow we have moved 16 inches that is shoulder to waist okay Please indicate it on your paper as well. So, mm, and then we call it a uh, waistline. It's a waistline. Now let us come to the together. Uh, there is another line we need, and that is shoulder to uh, bust. So how do we get our shoulder to bust? So how we are going to get our shoulder to bust? My bust is 34. I should have given you the standard. Each and everything has standard measurement. But me, I, I don't really do with standard measurement so much because I believe everyone has their own shapes. Everyone has their own body sizes. Even if we may be in the same height, we may look same size, but somewhere our body shape are different. So I don't give what uh, standard measurement. I always try to measure people and find their measurement and work out with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my body and uh, my bust that is 34 and I'll give it, I'll divide it by 4. So shoulder to bust, please, uh, this is a formula when once you get it, you are going to do so much with it. So I'm going to do uh, 34. Uh, that uh, 34 divided by 4, okay, to get my shoulder to bust. And uh, uh, this, formula, this formula is really good. I wish you could get it and put it in your mind. In, you never forget it. So um, why do I divide my bust by 4? Why do I do that? And you could be asking. So I'm going to show it on my models and why I would divide my bust by four. Mm. The reason why I'm dividing my bust by four is uh, I want you to check on these models. Okay, uh, there is this part. This is we are working with the front part, mm? and uh, each and every person has to uh, like in front. If you look at your in front bodies, okay, your in front part. You find you have breast here and you have breast here. So that means this is one, two parts you really have on your body. And when you come to your back part, you find, and then there's that middle line that passes here. Hmm? It has divided your part too. And when you come here, you find that there also there's a, that middle line that passes on your back. Okay? And there's this part. So this part is going to give us three four okay so that means we have um one two three four parts on our body and we are drafting this uh what we are we are doing right now what you are doing with me is we are drafting this on fold okay we have just fold this my uh i've drafted this on fold let me just kind of put it here for you uh, in in um, pattern making, this here is it means unfold, okay? When pattern making, this shows us unfold. That means I've just put this together like this, okay? Imagine this is my front part. I decide to do it like this and put here. So that means the only part I'm drafting here. Is this part okay? That means the only part I am drafting here is this this part. I hope you can see it. So I've given it on fold. It is okay if you can't understand it. Please, this is not one day thing. You need to keep practicing it. You need to keep studying it, and so on and so on. That's when you get to understand. So I have my but my front part. I've just folded like one. 
and then I decide to give it. Uh, you see this? So that means you are only working with this. Hmm? We are only working with this. That's why I decided to divide my body, my in front part, okay? Bodies, bust by one, by one, two, three, four, okay? So we are only working with this. The reason being why I divided by four, I, another reason is I measured. Remember how you would measure? You measure everything. You didn't only measure this. So when you are dividing it, please include this all as well because you measured it all around. You measure, you measure the whole width. Eh? You measure the whole width. You measure the whole width. And for, because of that, you need to divide the whole width by the whole body. And your body is divided by four. So that is one, two, three. Oh, okay, okay. I hope I don't know, but I believe you could be able to get it. I don't know, it has took me good days to get it, but uh, uh, if you can't get it in one minute with me, it is okay. Please don't get frustrated, keep it on, and let's continue. So, I said I'm going to divide my bust by four. Okay. So uh, some of you will have a uh, calculator near you, but for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tape measure to calculate it. With. So I'll get my whole tape measure and look for 34. My 34 is right here. Can you see? My 34 is right here. So from this one is, I'm going to make sure that I'll bring my tape measure to this 34. So, uh-huh has given me here and then I'll do it again once more because I'm dividing it by four you see this so it has given me one two three four so what I'm going to do is I am going to put this right here and mark where my head uh, and me. it has end right there so let us see if I divide that by four what I'm getting. Okay? Sometimes you can decide to open it and look for the first line. Okay? My first line is this and it just gives me 8.5. Okay? So that means I, I do my bust. Soda to bust is 8.5. Are we together? And that is in inches. Please use inches. So I'll put this and mark 8.5. And I make sure that I put here in the middle and mark 8.5, and then I put here and mark 8.5. The reason why I keep giving these dots, I just want accurate uh, measurement. I do not want to keep marking one here, and I come here, it's sliding. So this is really cool for me. That. And this. So I just join the dots, and I'm calling this line my bust my bust line. Woo! Are we together? Okay. So that is my bust line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate it here. From this line, I'm going to indicate from here to here. Uh, uh, from to here, it is, uh, so we shall call this point two. Do you remember when we were doing our measurement? 
we measured our solder from this corner to this corner. I hope you can remember. And we have already here, how many parts do we have? One, two. And that's why we are dividing it by two. If we could measure it all around up to here, hmm? that means you are to include this part as well. You are to divide it by four. That, uh, since you did not measure all around, you only use this from here to here, uh, you are to divide it by two. Ah, uh, some people already sleeping. <laughs> this is where now the sleep comes. Okay, uh, are you we together? Uh, did you get something here? You are dividing your solder by two. Why do you divide it by two? The reason why you're dividing it by two is because your body, you measure only from here to here. And this is one, two parts of your body, okay? And 